Hello and welcome to GUC News. First with the headlines. GUC team wins Egyptian programming contest. GUC participates in AlFit Fitness Challenge. Microsoft smartwatch beats Apple to market. Peanut butter turns into diamonds. Portland World Beard and Mustache Competition. Samsung's smallest profit in three years as smartphone sales plunge. Game of Thrones boosts tourism in Spain. The return of iconic band. Egypt's lack of firepower worries Gharib ahead of Senegal's crucial match. GSC's last 10 team, consisting of Mustafa Fahim, Islam Al Arag, and Ahmed Sulaiman, ranked first at the 2014 Association Computing Machinery Egyptian Collegiate Programming Contest ACM ECPC 2015, held on October 7 to October 8 in Alexandria. GUC teams have also secured the 3rd, 12th and 18th places. This competition is consisting of three levels, local, regional and global, where all the participants have to reach the three levels. GUC's team won at the local level and they are preparing to reach the regional level scheduled to be held in November at Sharm el-Sheikh, where the 2015 World Finals will be held in the city of Marrakesh, Morocco, on May 16-21, 2015. A GUC male team consists of five members has participated in Elfit Fitness Challenge, which is a hardcore fitness competition gathering all athletes from around Egypt to go through different workouts that would assess all the fitness aspects to determine the fittest in Egypt. The qualified participants, including the GUC's team, will compete in this year's epic challenge and the final will take place on November 11 in Saudi Quest where only one man, a woman and a team will be crowned the Elfit. This is good news for all smartwatch fans. Microsoft has announced recently the release of its Microsoft Band, which could beat Apple to the market. The $199 smartwatch includes a Microsoft Health application that can extract data collected by the newly announced watch. The Apple Watch contender will be available for all three major smartphone platforms, including Apple's iOS, Google's Android, and Microsoft Windows Phone. In addition to being a timepiece, the Microsoft Band will offer health-related functions such as 24-hour heart monitoring, GPS distance measurement, step counting, calorie counting, and sleep monitoring. The Microsoft Band application will also show the user a graph of their sleep, displaying how much was restful light and how many times the user was woken up. The watch will also measure UV light exposure, in addition to allow users to check stock codes, view previews of emails and upcoming calendar appointments, and access to Twitter, Facebook and text messages. A team of scientists have recently proven the possibility of turning the common peanut butter into the most expensive gems in the world, diamonds. The group of scientists from Edinburgh University reached the conclusion that the exposure of carbon-bearing materials to high pressure, ranging approximately between 45 and 60 kilobars, and low temperature ranging between approximately 1,600 and 2,370 Fahrenheit will make a natural diamond. However, many carbon-containing materials can be converted also into diamond, including peanut butter. Electronics giant Samsung has reported its lowest quarterly profit in three years because of weak smartphone sales due to stiff competition from Apple and Chinese manufacturers of cheap smartphones. The South Korean company reported a 60% decline in profit to $3.8 billion in three months ended in September. It is the lowest profit since the fourth quarter of 2011. The unit has been facing stiff competition from Apple for its premium smartphone models. Meanwhile, Chinese manufacturers such as Lenovo and Xiaomi pose the threat to its lower and mid-end models. Samsung remained as the number one smartphone company in the third quarter, but it was the only top five handset vendor to record a sales decline. Apple, Xiaomi, Lenovo and LG Electronics all recorded more than 15% growth in their smartphone shipments, according to the reports. 300 contestants participated in a facial hair competition in Portland, Oregon, shaming all those who don't take facial hair growth seriously. 
18 different categories of facial hair were paraded in front of six judges at the World Bird and Moustache Championship held on October 25. The contestants were diverse, representing 10 countries, the Virgin Islands and 29 U.S. states. The winners weren't just those with the biggest and most coiffed facial hair. Judges were also looking for contestants whose facial hair best enhanced their overall appearance, style and personality. In the full bird category, contestants dressed as Gandalf, a monk and a farmer. Egypt coach Shawi Gharib said recently that he was worried over his size lack of firepower up front as they prepare for a crucial African Cup of Nations qualifier at home to Senegal in November. The fairs must be Senegal in Cairo on 15 November to stand a chance of reaching next year's Nation Cup finals in Morocco. But the lack of a reliable out-and-out -out striker may prove a hindrance in the make-or-break game. Egypt's leading clubs have been equally struggling to deliver in the final third in domestic competitions, leaving Gharib with little options in the remaining two Group G games against Senegal and away to Tunisia. Egypt, who haven't qualified for the Nations Cup since lifting the last of their record seven trophies in 2010, lie third in their group with six points, one behind Senegal and three adrift of leaders Tunisia with two matches remaining. British iconic 18th band Culture Club recently reunited from the first time in 12 years to play at London's Heaven nightclub and a new album will be released soon. In the old days frontman Boy George with unorthodox looks helped the band in selling more than 50 million albums and also more than 100 million singles. Game of Thrones TV series fans flocked to the historic Spanish town of Osuna, where part of season 5 was being filmed, fueling hopes the show will deliver a lasting tourism boost. To attract fans of the series, after film crews have left, Osuna's business association offers special location tours and one restaurant where they decorate in a Game of Thrones theme. The number of visitors to Osuna rose by 15% in August and by 30% in September, compared to the same period last year. This is the end of our GOC news. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned on our GOC TV. You can visit us on our Facebook fan page, GOC Media Production Center, and watch our videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.